Once upon a time, in the village of Meadowbrook, there lived a highly educated man named Jonathan. He had three sons named Benjamin, Victor, and Daniel. One day, Jonathan gathered his sons and spoke to them. Listen to me, my children. As a father, I have not been able to provide you with any inherited wealth or possessions. However, with the knowledge and education I possess, I can teach you everything there is to learn. If you are intelligent and talented, you can succeed in life no matter what. Therefore, I want you all to learn from me so that you can thrive anywhere. The three brothers agreed and eagerly learned various skills, wisdom, and education from their father. Unfortunately, after some time, Jonathan fell ill and passed away. Devastated by their father's loss, Benjamin, Victor, and Daniel decided to leave Meadowbrook and find a place where their talents would be valued. While on their journey, Benjamin noticed some tracks on the ground and exclaimed, Look! It appears that a horse has recently passed this way. There must be a town nearby. Let's follow this path. Victor, after examining the tracks, added, Indeed, the horse seems to be blind in one eye. Let's proceed in the direction it went. Daniel, observing the surroundings, spoke up, Not only did the horse pass through here, but there was also a mother and her child with it. Let's continue on this path. The three brothers followed the path, eventually reaching the town. Along the way, they encountered a man on horseback who seemed to be searching for something. Benjamin approached the man and inquired, Excuse me, sir, but who are you, and what are you looking for? The man, named Edward, replied, My name is Edward, and I live in the nearby town. I'm searching for my missing horse. How did you know I was looking for it? Victor confidently answered, We noticed the horse's tracks on the ground and deduced that someone must be searching for it. We haven't seen your horse, but we can help you find it if you'd like. Edward, still suspicious, questioned them further, You claim to know about my horse, but have you done something to it? Have you sold it or hidden it? Daniel assured him, Sir, we haven't seen your horse, nor have we done anything to it. We are telling the truth. Despite their protests, Edward remained doubtful and decided to take the matter to the king for judgment. He escorted the three brothers to the king's court, accusing them of theft. Edward recounted the story of his missing horse, expecting the king to find them guilty. The king listened attentively but requested evidence to support Edward's claims. He turned to the brothers and said, If you can prove your innocence, I will let you go. Otherwise, you will be punished severely. Confident in their abilities, Benjamin, Victor, and Daniel accepted the challenge. The king presented them with a closed box and asked, Tell me, what is inside this box? Use your talents to discern its contents. Benjamin observed the box and confidently replied, My king, there is a circular object inside, and I believe it is a fruit, specifically a pomegranate. Daniel carefully examined the box and added, Indeed, my king, it is a pomegranate, but it is not ripe yet. It is still in its raw state. Impressed by their accurate deductions, the king instructed his minister to open the box. To everyone's surprise, it contained an unripe pomegranate, just as the brothers had described. The king commended the brothers' intelligence and realized their innocence. He dismissed Edward's accusations and offered his apologies. Curious about their extraordinary talents, the king invited Benjamin, Victor, and Daniel to his chamber for further conversation. In the king's chamber, the brothers explained how their powers of observation and deductive reasoning helped them discern the details. They shared their observations about the horse's tracks, its blindness in one eye, and the footprints of a woman and child.
The king was amazed by their sharp minds and commended their skills. Word of the brothers' intelligence and wisdom quickly spread throughout the kingdom, inspiring others to value observation, intelligence, and wisdom. Benjamin, Victor, and Daniel continued their journey, using their talents to solve mysteries and make a positive impact wherever they went, leaving a legacy of intelligence and wisdom behind them.